Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop Walkthroughs. In this episode, I'll be demonstrating how I recreated the instrumental for Say It by Tory Lanez, produced by Pop Wansale. Say It is the first single from the rapper's upcoming debut album. The source material for Say It is Brownstone's If You Love Me. Alright, so first off, we'll start off with the hook. Now, I believe that the record actually samples the acapella because I was able to find it on YouTube. So that's what I chose to use uh, for this section. So here's the chops that we have. Say it, do it. Alright, so we'll sequence that. Alright, so next up is the drums. The drums have two different patterns, so we'll start off with the first pattern, and we'll start off with the kick drum. So we'll sequence that. Alright, next up is the snare. Now I layered the snare with this little metallic hit right here. It's like a sound effect along with the snare. So we'll sequence that. And last for this section is the hi-hat. So we'll lay that down. Alright, the next element to add is the bass line. Now the bass line is an 808 bass, a sub bass, so what I did was I took a sample from an 808 kit that I have and I put it into a sampler and it's now it's multi-sampled on the keyboard so I can play it at any note. So we'll record that now. So the next chop of the sample comes from the original and it's from the intro. I had to time stretch it in order to make it 107 uh, BPM. And here's the loop. Alright, next up is the second sequence of drums. Here's the rest of the sounds that we'll be using. Right, so let's get the sequence in that.
All right, next up are the hi-hats. Now for the hi-hats, what I did was I loaded up a drum rack and then I placed an arpeggiator, which is in MIDI effects. And I did that in order to automate in between the different rhythms. So we can zoom in here and see, we start off with 16th notes, then we go to the 64th notes, those are your real, uh, the, like the fastest uh, hi-hats you can get. Go back up to 16th notes, and then there's 12th notes, and then back to 16, uh, a 24, and then 32. So let's take a listen, and you can see down here in the arpeggiator where it changes. So we got. We'll play that with the drums. Alright, so the last element of the drums is this uh, snare roll that's at the end. And what it has is uh, three different snare samples. Uh, they're actually the same sample, but just pitched differently. So we got. So it's played in this rhythm. So you come into the piano roll, right click, go to 32nd note on the fixed grid, and then you click in notes. And so I clicked in four here, and as you can hear, you'll hear the snare roll. One more time. All right, in the last part of the second sequence, I have a couple of uh, pads playing chords just to give it a little bit more texture. So we'll play we'll play what I recorded. Thanks for watching Hip Hop Walkthroughs. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog to receive all updates from SureShot Media.